Hello boys and girls, this is Soloride, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to draw a polygon on top of our footage, stay tuned. Okay, to get started, uh, we will drag a small video clip into our timeline. Uh, make sure it's selected and then we switch over to the Fusion tab. And as always, you can see you have the media in and the media out node. Uh, make sure none of these nodes is selected. And then we start by adding a polygon node, which is this one. Deselected. Uh, bring in a background node. Now we have these two. And now we are going to connect these two. So it's the other way around. Polygon onto the background. And to see what's really happening once we're going to draw the polygon, uh, if you, you can see here you have two black dots. So make sure the left one is activated. So this is our playing ground now. And here we are going now to draw a polygon. Let's make a simple one. Not very complicated. Okay, so we have it now. And now we are going to connect this polygon to the actual actual footage. And for that, uh, make sure that no node is selected again. And click on the merge node to bring it in. The next thing we're going to do is we have to get rid of this connector. By clicking on the right side of the connection line to remove it. And now we make a connection from the media in to the merge. And we make a connection from the background to the merge. And then we are going to connect the merge to the media out so that it's actually really visible on the screen. So now you can see our polygon is nicely on top of the video. Now there are of course different properties we can change. Uh, let's start with the background for instance. So we click on the background, make sure that your inspector window here is open. Now we choose a different color. Maybe we take green so that we have a nice green background. Then also we can change the properties of the polygon itself by clicking on it. Again, make sure the inspector window is open. Now, for instance, we can say we do not want to have it filled, so deselect solid and add some border width, 0 0.1 for instance. Oh, that's a big, too big. Well, that's a bit better. So now we have the polygon on top. Now there are different things that you can use uh, to manipulate it. For instance, you can just click here and drag to move it around. You can grab this handle to move it horizontally. You can grab this handle for this direction. And you also can click on the circle to spin it in the direction you want to have it. So this is all uh, very, very easy. Of course, you also can use these controls here. These are the rotation axes that you can that you can change. All very easy. Now if we go back to the edit tab, we can see it's there now. Played. It's nicely overlaid over the video. Well, that's about it, folks. If you like the content of this channel, please consider to subscribe. This would be very helpful. Give me a thumbs up. Or if you have any annotations or remarks about this video or the way I do the polygons, don't hesitate to put it in the comments. I read everything of it. I wish you a very nice weekend and goodbye.